Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for April 8th through the 14th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we're just going to see what comes up for the week of April. Did I, I don't even know if I said April 8th. I might have said a different month. But I don't know. <laughs> April 8th through the 14th. If I did say a different month, who knows? That came out for a reason. Um, so let's see what we got for Capricorn. I may have said October. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. What do we got? What do we have? Keep in mind this reading may not be for you. So if it doesn't, don't. If it's not, don't take it personal. April, April eighth through the fourteenth for Capricorn. Now, when a card comes out sideways, it's a challenge. You have, there's, there's that magician card, that wonderful magician card where you have the power, but you're not using the power, right? I mean, there's an opportunity to bring success to your life, but you got to take action. The magician has to take action. I think you know that you have the power because this is a challenge. It's like you know that you can get what you want, but you're not doing it. Is that what this is? I'll leave that right here. Yeah, so there's a challenge. There's a challenge about listening to your divine connection, right? There's a challenge to take action. It's like, you know, I think that perhaps, you know, you know that you can, but you just, you're not. It's like, you know you have the power. <laughs> but, you know, the magician has to shed things. And maybe you're in the process still. Maybe that's why there's a challenge. Maybe you have it completely shed. You know, before you can take action, you've got to complete a process first. That could be the case. Hmm. Page of Swords reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Ah. Difficulty in communication difficulty communicating no way mm. king of rods this is king of wands confidence strength courage willpower we have a very wise individual here somebody that is very very wise that has a lot of uh, passion within them this is a very passionate king so we have somebody here that is is full of passion and uh, they just quite have you see it quite it hasn't opened up yet it hasn't so I feel like you're you're so close you're so close to opening up I think you're, you're you are oh reality the moon reverse this is reality check Something is starting to become clearer to you. Ooh, the tower. <laughs> there's been some sort of upheaval. There's been a there's been a uh, breakdown. There's been some sort of breakthrough. Maybe a midlife crisis of some sort. There's been some sort of crisis in your life, in which I feel like you've been trying to avoid it. Maybe you've been trying to avoid uh, dealing with it. I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> you got to clean it up. You got to clean it up. Something needs to be cleaned up. It's like the aftermath. I heard word aftermath. It still needs to be cleaned up. So I feel like you have been through something that needs to be cleaned up. I think that... Something may still be a little messy. I don't know what that means. This is good news coming in, something exciting. Maybe you have another exciting opportunity. Often the Page of Wands is a new suitor, a new partner that is very well suited for you. Perhaps you, you know, you have an exciting opportunity and you're looking at it. Maybe this person is younger than you. 
you know, you're looking at this opportunity. It's like this person is talking to you. It's like they're, you know, they have an opportunity to bring you extreme happiness. But that sun is extreme happiness. This person is very vibrant, very positive. But there's lack of communication. It's like you're not communicating. <laughs> Five of Cups is because, but I think that you, this is beginning, this is seeing the light, beginning to realize there's another opportunity for love. I think this is, you know, realizing the Five of Cups reverse is realizing that there is an opportunity for love. You know, there's a new prospect. There's a new prospect here. There is a new, a new love prospect. And this is realizing it. But, you know, I think that You need to finalize something first. This is a final decision. You need to make something final. You need to finalize a chapter in your life. You're in the process of making a decision. That's where we're at right now, making a decision as to whether you want to, you know, answer this call or, or accept this exciting opportunity or not. But the Five of Cups reverse is realizing that you have another option. So I think you do know, but you're not taking action, like I said. I feel there could be a contract that you are involved in that the ties need to be severed. You know, you need to accept the reality that it's over. This is accepting reality. The contract is, you know, reached the end. Now, this is a card of integrity. It's a card of truth as well. Now, the tower will come in to remove things from your life to bring you what you deserve. The justice, you think about the justice system, at the end, people get what they deserve. So, the, the tower has the universe, the tower's the universe card, has, has, is, or has removed something. Either they're removing it now, or they're in the process of removing it, and you're trying to avoid it completely, whatever, or they have removed it. And the reason all that has happened is because you deserve you deserve something, okay? You deserve something. It's what you deserve. This is a card of karma as well. So I feel like uh, this is a karmic contract that is coming to an end. But some of you may be avoiding it, okay? You may be avoiding the completion. I don't know why. The Empress reversed. My God. The Emp somebody doesn't value this person. This person doesn't... Uh... You know, the Empress is a woman who is uh, very beautiful, very kind, very loving, very nurturing, very compassionate. She's endured a lot of pain. She's endured a lot of pain, which has made her the empress. She doesn't become the empress without pain because you don't deliver a baby without pain. She's the mother. She is the mother. So we have this We have this person here that doesn't, you know, this could be the person you're dealing with. This is a Taurus. Or a Libra could be anybody else, but this could this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This is somebody who doesn't know their worth. In reversed, the Empress in reversed is a person that doesn't know their worth. She doesn't know her value. Or it could be if you are the male, maybe you are dealing with a woman that you don't know her value. That could be the case. This woman can be smothering, very smothering. So maybe you're dealing with a woman that is smothering. Maybe she's smothering you. Or, you know, you're, or if this is you, Capricorn, then you're smothering. If you're the, this is the woman, okay? This is, this is a feminine. This ain't no male, okay? So whoever the, if, you, if you're the Capricorn male watching this, this is the woman that you are dealing with. She may be smothering you. <laughs> she may be, she may be smothering you. She may be chasing you. The Empress in reverse chases. The Empress upright does not. If you are the Capricorn woman, you may be chasing after the wrong one because you don't know your worth. Let me get, tell you something. This just popped into my head. If a man wants you, he will come and get you. That's the truth. 
Seven of Pentacles reversed. Oh, this is, this is, look at this. Somebody's been, been waiting for growth. They're waiting for a change, you know, and it's just not happening. It's not happening. You know, it's like, there's nothing you can do. There's no more growth. It's, and he's got a shovel. His hand, it's time to, you know, plant your seeds someplace else. But somebody is holding on to an, un, it's reverse, holding on to an unrealistic situation where, they need to, they need to, they need to let it go. Somebody needs to let something go. <coughs> could be dealing, this could be the wife that, you know, is holding you back. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. You could be dealing with, this is a, this is a wife. The empress is a wife. This is a wife or, or a significant counterpart. Somebody that, you know, has had a big impact on your life. This could, this is somebody, you know, that could be hindering your success they could be hindering you uh from taking action whoever this person is maybe this person is selfish maybe this person is jealous and if you you know follow your path they're going to cause problems that could certainly be the case i feel like this person she could be the wife she could be the wife this is the person that is very suspicious she's very suspicious she's very jealous she's very selfish in the reverse I hate to say it but it's the truth um, somebody is wasting their time holding on to fear but I feel like somebody is get is starting to get a reality check that there is another opportunity for love, that's what this is. It's like I this is realizing there's another opportunity for love with somebody that's better suited for you. Somebody that's better suited for you, Capricorn. But I feel like this person right here, I mean, if you are the woman watching this, I'm telling you right now, you need to put yourself back together. Okay, if you're the Capricorn woman, and I happen to be a Capricorn moon, all right. So as I said at the beginning, this is your Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, don't chase. Know your worth. Five of Swords. Damn. Conflict. Five of Swords. And the card, ego. That's an ego card. Five of Swords is it's a, you can't win no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you can't win. There's too many power struggles. There's too much conflict. There's too much need to prove yourself. Somebody's wanting to prove to the outside world, you know, who they are. When and, and, and all that is doing is bringing conflict into their life. You know, you need to choose to be happy to hell with the outside world. So I really feel as though, you know, there's a lot of conflict and power struggles over, you know, letting go of a, a situation that is unrealistic. I feel like there's no more growth in a situation that's probably already crashed or it's, you've been, somebody's been trying to avoid upheaval, but you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. It's going to, it's happening. Either it has happened or it's happening. And what it's happening because it's time for a change. It's time for you to get what you deserve. It's time for you to be happy. You know, it's, it's time for you to be taken care of. Anyway, somebody is is having a really hard time with the magician. They're having a really hard time taking the power in their own hands. Having a really hard time shedding the old That's what this is. There's a lot of indecision. There is. 
there is a lot of indecision, but I do feel like you know the truth, and I feel like you see the truth, and you know that it's inevitable. But I think there's a lot of fear, and there's a lot of worry, and there's a lot of anxiety, and there's a lot of stress, and I think that you may be a little overwhelmed. Maybe maybe you, there's, there's this is just too much information. Maybe it's, you know, information overload. I think that you're being overly cautious, right? You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect yourself from something. Now the sun reversed. There's a lot of negative thinking here. Your negative thinking is getting in the way of your rebirth. There's an like I said, they, the, everything is happening for a reason, and and this is they want you to be happy. It's like you're not letting you're allowing not allowing yourself to be happy. You deserve to be happy, Capricorn. Ten of Swords. Deception. This is self-deception. It's the end of a difficult period if you allow yourself to stand up and walk away. This is a completion of a very difficult period in your life. You have been given the opportunity to rise up from the ashes and head in a new direction. There's been a significant ending in your life or there's going to be that has been very painful. But the worst is over. And you have an opportunity to find happiness. You do. But I feel like you're not putting in the effort. You're not putting in a lot of effort to move on. Therefore, there's an opportunity of, you know, the Ace of Rods. There's something. Oh, God, it's dying. There's an opportunity that is withering away. You're being weighed down by your own thoughts, by your fears, by your need to prove to whoever it is that you got to prove to. Let go of that heavy weight. You don't need to prove anything. You know, I really feel as though you guys are being given a golden opportunity there's that golden opportunity to go in a new direction to broaden your horizons right now you have the opportunity to take charge of your life and start over that is what this one is i believe that you are receiving a message or you have received a message from somebody who wants to help you this is gold okay it really is This person can help you in many ways. They can help you to rise back up. They can maybe be able to help you financially, you know. Maybe there's been a there's there's not enough money. Maybe you feel like you're stuck because you don't have any money. I don't care about the money. Who cares about the money? If somebody wants you just for the money, then you don't want them. Trust me. Who? I, no. Queen of Rods is a loss of... Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing with another person. Or this could be you that has lack of drive, lack of ambition. Maybe they're just after your money. This person is not a hard worker. This person is lazy and complacent and who knows what. Um, they may be weighing you down. Maybe 
whoever this person is, this person um, may be bringing you down. This is a Debbie Downer. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anybody else. Maybe you have to make a choice. Maybe you have to make a choice between two options. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be, it doesn't have to be those signs. But I feel like we haven't, we have a, somebody that has no ambition, has no drive, has no uh, future vision. This is somebody who doesn't really plan, somebody, you know, who doesn't really want to do the work, doesn't have the energy to do work. Lack of energy. And I think maybe this is the person, whoever this person was, could be any sign. Maybe they have brought you down. I don't know. But I feel like you have a bigger, better opportunity waiting for you to take it. And it's time for you to come out of this darkness. It's time for you to come out of the cold. It's time for you to accept help. It's time for you to allow somebody to help you. This is an opportunity for somebody to help. It's like somebody wants to help you, Capricorn. That's what I see. It's the end of a difficult period if you would just allow it and stop fighting it. So Capricorn, I feel like you, you are receiving an opportunity to go down a new path from somebody that is very well suited for you. But you may be afraid of change. You may be trying to avoid upheaval in your life. But I do see that you see the connection or you see the option. But you may not be focused on love right now. Because there's not a lot of love in these cards. Maybe you've been in a situation where there was no love. Maybe you've given up on love. Maybe you feel like, I don't know. But the Five of Cups reverse tells me that this the Five of Cups upright is focusing on a loss. The Five of Cups reverse is realizing that there is another opportunity for love. And it's right in the center of the reading. This is where you are at. I feel as though you do see an opportunity for love. I see that. I think this has happened unexpectedly. Five, five, five. Five, five, fives is unexpectedly. Okay? Like I said. And I feel like you have to make a major life choice. Do you want it or not? So that's where we're at. That is exactly where we're at. I feel as though... Um, this card fell out. So we're going to take it. I'm not sure what it is, what it is but... You're receiving an opportunity, a golden opportunity, to start over on a new path with a little bit of help from somebody, or a lot of help, but whatever, however it goes. It's up to you. Do you want it or not? Uh-oh. Red. One of my favorite colors. Yikes. Wild. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Looks like trouble to me. <laughs> there is a wild, untamed spirit inside of you, desperate to be unleashed. Free it and claim the gifts of energy, power, passion, and creativity it offers you. Through suppressing your wild, succulent, outrageous, and untamed self, you dull your senses and crush your creativity. You shrink, lose your energy, and become depressed. Your relationships suffer and your rage grows. You become ashamed, hostile, cold, boring, over-serious, and scared. You stop taking chances and live in mediocrity, constantly trying to protect yourself. The truth is that no one can judge you, punish you, or hurt you as much as you can. Give in to your wildness. 
and stop living a sham. This part of you is sensual, provocative, truthful, courageous, bold, passionate, and alive. Set it free. This is basically saying go after your passion. Just do it. Don't hold back. I, f I feel as though you guys are receiving an opportunity from somebody to go in a new direction and you're afraid to take it, but you want it and I think you should do it. And that's my take on that one. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, there's definitely a feeling of, you know, that, like, I, like I said, untamed passion. It's like it's, it's ready to it burst. It's like you're ready to burst. Very sexual energy here. Red is sexual. So I feel like you have these desires that need to be met and you know, maybe you decide to, I don't know, you, you choose what you wanna do, but I feel as though, you know, it's time to let your guard down time to stop protecting yourself and broaden your horizon start over start over reality check this 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 false structure that you have held on to can't be fixed anyway I do apologize but that's the way it goes you know I think that it's time it's time for you to finalize and step into the unknown Capricorn step into the unknown Harry's not dying yet. Let's get one of these for you, Capricorn. The challenge is taking action. Taking action towards this new suitor. There is a new suitor here. There is. That page of wands, a new suitor. And I think that you're thinking about it right now. You're really thinking about it. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. Let's get one more. Well, that's not one, so we can't take it. We're going to go ahead and just get a picture of that real quick. That's going to be my thumbnail. Let it go. It's time. It's time. It is time. To unleash those passions. I mean, that's what that is. Oh, my God reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life this is someone that you've known whoever this person is this is someone you've known so Capricorn that is what I have for you I wish you the best good luck